Uh, well, PRP or GFC treatment is quite common treatment for the facial rejuvenation and for the scalp or the hair growth. And uh, many people they have kind of a concern about the side effects. The doctor is he safe or not? So here are some kind of a common complications uh, maybe there, and we should know about uh, these complications before taking any kind of therapy, any PRP therapy or GFC treatment. So PRP is considered one of the safe treatment, safest treatment I can say because this is like autologous in origin. Uh, autologous means the blood is taken from our body only, and they are injecting in your body. So in that way, this is quite safe and second the time duration time is very short duration okay any kind of therapy that is like longer duration maybe have some kind of different complications and third and most important part is the invasiveness so this is very less invasive means we are giving on the scalp like we are going roughly three to four millimeter in the depth and on the facial roughly two to three millimeter so i can say all the parameters okay of the side effects are in favor of the rp so the is considered one of the safest treatment but yes some complications may be there like first it's called mild pain so during the therapy and post therapy some pain may be there so during therapy i try my best to reduce the pain and for that i made a small video separately so you can see how i am reduced the pain before the prp and during the prp and uh, after prp therapy mild pain may be there that can persist for next two to three days and that can easily manageable with painkillers second complication like mild swelling especially on the forehead area because we are just in the injecting some kind of fluids and we are also injecting a kind of a anesthesia so that can cause mild swelling that swelling will be persisting for next two to three days and uh, not any kind of aggressive treatment is needed especially for the swelling part the painkiller treatment will also reduce the swelling for you uh, sometimes the swelling may be there on the sides of the neck here on this both side okay this is called lymphadenopathy and this lymphadenopathy is because of the any kind of mild swelling and pain on the scalp area okay this is kind of a reactional thing that will also go in next two to three days sometimes mild itching okay that may be there on the scalp area and then will go in next two to three days so i can say almost all the complications are will dissolve in next two to three days after taking the therapy and you can use a nice shampoo so so cleansing is more important so the mild crust that is formed during the injections and some kind of bleeding that will clear and that will not cause any kind of other complications so in that way you can manage it if you talk about the facial prp so mild bruising and swelling these two complications may be there so bruising again will go in seven to ten days yeah that takes more time and swelling again for two to three days four days may be there so any kind of like social gathering any kind of function is there then you just try to avoid the prp or you just take uh, prp around 10 days to two weeks so before any kind of function so any kind of mild uh, you know complications that will be resolved before your important functions or important gathering uh, so these are some kind of complications uh, because of the prp because of the skull prp because of the facial prp thank you